temperatures that freeze steel, ice that crushes conventional hulls. This is the most hostile environment on Earth for a ship. To survive here, vessels must become something else entirely, floating fortresses of engineering. We are exploring the cutting edge technology that allows these ships to conquer the Arctic. For centuries, the Arctic meant certain imprisonment for ships, locked in ice's unforgiving grip. Now, these engineering marvels unlock polar frontiers for science, trade, and communities. Their secret lies in a hull of special steel, flexible enough to bend, but tough enough to resist shattering. The hull plating can be over five centimeters thick, more than double a standard ocean-going vessel. But the hardened shell is just the beginning of its survival systems. At over 150 meters long, its weight and blunt, rounded bow are designed to ride up onto the ice. Over 30 megawatts of power, enough for a small city, drives this vessel forward. Its primary function isn't to slice, but to crush. It uses its own mass as a weapon. Bow and stern thrusters provide lateral thrust, allowing the ship to turn on a dime even in solid ice. Lazapot propellers provide unparalleled maneuverability, pulling the ship through the ice with maximum force. Sophisticated control systems allow pilots to manage power distribution to thrusters and propellers with precision. The steel is alloyed with nickel to retain its strength and flexibility far below freezing. Built in select northern shipyards, these vessels take years and hundreds of millions of dollars to construct. Their journey to the Arctic is in self a long and carefully planned expedition. A specialized crew of just over 40 experts runs this complex, floating machine around the clock. Now, let's go deep inside to the systems that keep it alive in the deep freeze. The mission begins with a synchronized startup of multiple diesel generators. The first impact sends vibrations through the entire structure, a feeling the crew knows well. Hull stress monitoring systems analyze every impact, ensuring the structure remains within safe limits. In continuous mode, it uses its forward momentum and weight to methodically fracture the ice sheet. GPS and inertial navigation provide centimeter level accuracy, crucial for following narrow cleared paths. Multiple redundant systems for power, navigation, and steering ensure there is no single point of failure. Environmental systems are self-contained, treating all waste and preventing pollution in the fragile ecosystem. The human eye of the experienced ice pilot remains an irreplaceable sensor, reading the ice's character. An efficient icebreaker can clear a path for following ships at over five knots. Every transit is also a scientific mission, gathering vital data on the changing polar oceans. An automated power management system optimally distributes energy where it's needed most. Forward-looking sonar maps the hidden, dangerous underside of the ice, preventing hull damage. Artificial intelligence now processes satellite and sensor data to plot the most efficient course. Dynamic positioning allows it to remain stationary for scientific work, even in shifting ice. If trapped, the ship can rock itself free by shifting thousands of tons of ballast water in seconds. Robotic inspection systems continuously monitor the hull's integrity predicting maintenance needs. A dedicated winterized emergency generator can power all essential systems if main power is lost. An air bubbling system creates a lubricating layer of bubbles, reducing friction by up to 
An intricate network of heated pipes prevents internal and external systems from freezing solid. It is designed to break through multi-year ice, a challenge that would stop any other vessel dead. It can break pressure ridges towering over 10 meters high, a true test of its structural limits. Compared to its predecessors, modern icebreakers operate with smoother, more efficient, and far safer power. Its potted propulsion can also be used to actively clear mooring areas. It can create its own safe harbors for other vessels, protecting them from crushing ice pressures. Advanced hull forms and propulsion cut fuel consumption by nearly half, extending mission range dramatically. A single vessel can keep vital Arctic supply lines open, moving millions of tons of cargo annually. It is built for endurance, capable of operating autonomously for months, even through the perpetual night of winter. While immensely expensive to build, its economic impact by enabling year-round trade is far greater. This technology doesn't just conquer the Arctic. It allows us to operate within it sustainably. Today, these ships are the lifeline for polar science and remote communities. They are making new global trade arteries a reality, shortening voyages by thousands of miles. This enables economic development in the far north, creating new industries and opportunities. The next generation will be fully autonomous and potentially nuclear powered for unlimited range. Future designs focus on reducing environmental impact with alternative fuels and zero emission operations. As ice recedes, these vessels will be the pioneers securing and regulating the new Arctic Ocean. Paradoxically, they are also essential tools for climate research, helping us understand the changes they navigate. This is more than shipbuilding. It's the creation of sovereign capability in the world's final frontier. From 50 below zero to crushing pressures, these fortresses of steel not only survive, they thrive. They are the guardians of the pole, enabling exploration, commerce, and discovery in the planet's last great wilderness.